worry in your life because uh, you see and, and, and there is, uh, you, you're afraid about lack in your life. Today, I want you to establish really your heart, your life today. Wherever you are, that you can hear my, my voice today. Eternal, a paternal provision from our God is for all of us. Amen. You don't have to be afraid about nothing. You don't have to be afraid about lacking something because we have a Father. Yesterday I told you, Jesus opened, Jesus opened the, the as, as, as the disciples, as the disciples ask, as the disciple ask uh, uh, Jesus, tell us, uh, teach us how to to how to to pray. And you know what Jesus said when you pray? He said like this, Our Father in heaven. I want you to know, people. I want you to know that you have a Father. Amen. God is not God miles away. But he is your father. And your father, uh, it's like a good father. He's a loving father. He provides for us because that's what loving fathers do. Amen. Fathers, the loving fathers do provide everything for his children. And, and, and our God is also like that. You don't have to be afraid about your lacking something. Because we have a father. I, I, we, we have to establish with, the, with this. And listen to me, grace is personified in Jesus, Jesus Christ, shows us what to do when faced with the enemy of lack. Grace shouts louder than lack. You know something? As uh, you know, the, the story as Jesus, uh, as Jesus gave uh, a feeding 5,000 5, people. And you know, sometimes we miss, uh, uh, overlook some, 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 some things there. The disciples wanted that all these people, these 5,000 people, they have to go away. They have to go. And, and the disciples said, we don't have enough. And, listen to me. Yeah. They said, we don't have enough. Just send them away so that they can go to the, to, 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 uh, to, to other, to other, to other city or something like that so they can buy food. And you know Grace, what Grace said? You have to feed them. The disciples said, send them away. Grace said, feed them. It's amazing. This is Jesus, you know. You know, sometimes we overlook about, they, they want to send people away. Sometimes we are so afraid about our lack in our life. We are so afraid. But grace is proactive. Grace is proactive. They said, feed them. Feed them. Grace doesn't need to be asked. Grace doesn't need favorable conditions. Or grace it doesn't check for behavioral standard or moral excellence before giving. Grace applies unconditionally, unreservedly, and often unconventionally. This is grace. Grace is not affected by negativity. When the disciples feel this, the sin, the impossibility to say, we cannot feed 5,000, okay? Impossibility. The impossibility of the situation urges grace to send them away. The insistence is, is too late. You know, something, something, you know something? Grace said, feed them. Grace shout louder. You know something? Grace overrides negativity and doubt. Amen? Grace override negativity and doubt. And grace totally ignores impossibility. Because in grace, all things are possible. <laughs> Amen, church? So, when the disciples, grace you know something, when the disciples were forced to get involved by the offer, and, and, and they said, only, we have only five breads, and then only these two fishes. How can we do something with these things? Impossible. It is impossible for me. It seemed impossible for me to, to receive a, a, a good job or God provide for me. Listen to me. God loves you because you are the son and the daughter of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. You are precious in His eyes. 
You don't have to be afraid about anything. He loves you very much. He loves you very much. <coughs> you know something? Grace speak up and say it makes more difference than what you have in your hands. Just give it to me. This is grace. Grace said, whatever in your hands, give it to me. And as we give it to grace, the hand of grace, you know something, what happens? Multiply, and multiply, and multiply. This is grace. Grace shouted to the crowd, sit down. Grace knew, listen to me, grace, Jesus Christ, the personification of, grace is not a teaching, okay? Grace is not a basic teaching or something like that. Grace is Jesus Christ himself, because truth and grace come to Jesus Christ. Grace, listen to me. Grace knew exactly what was about to happen. Grace knew exactly what was about to happen. Grace knew exactly what was about to happen tomorrow in your life. And grace always provide good things for you. Always provide good things for you. And you know something? As the as grace receive five loaves of bread and two fishes. His grace receive it. You know something? Grace looks away to heaven. Grace doesn't look to the circumstances. Grace looks to heaven because all the provision is come from above. Amen. Today, under grace, people, Listen to me, when you have Jesus in your life, you don't have to see other circumstances in your life. It seems impossible or, or, or it seems cannot be done or something like that. See your Heavenly Father. He loves you. He wants to provide for you. And I will give three things today, three, uh, three things today that, that you know that you don't have to be afraid about lack in your life. Grace is always looks to heaven. And listen to me. Grace is always positive. Grace is always helpful. Grace always unconditional. It's not grace don't don't, don't bless you because condition something and, and, and that and have to do that. No, 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 no. Grace is unconditional. Grace direct you to see heaven. This ability is not ours, but his ability. It's not your ability, but his ability. His perfection is your perfection. Amen? Amen? Because Jesus' perfection is your perfection. His inheritance is your inheritance. His righteousness before the Father is your righteousness before the Father. This is grace. This is grace. So, it's very crucial that you have to know so that you won't have to be afraid about lacking something. Sometimes people are so worried about their life and they said, I have to be a workaholic. A workaholic, I work and work and work and work. And they forget that God can bless them in the way. And, and, and they, they miss something. And, and, and it's not, I, I don't say that when you work, it's not good, it's not my bad. But don't, 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 uh, don't do something to, that you want to try everything so that, you try something so that you can secure all the things uh, for your life. The security, the most security things in our life is come only from God. Amen? That's the, the, the most secure, the most secure, uh, the most secure place. It's not, I, I want to tell you something. The, sometimes they said, okay, the most secure, the, the most secure place in, in, in this uh, in this in this world, probably in Germany, probably there, probably no people. The most secure path in our life is together with God. Amen. Being together with God. Today, listen. Grace want to provide you. Grace provision is not just a good idea. Grace provision is not just a good idea. It is God idea. Amen? His idea is one to provide you in all things what you have. 
He wants to provide you for everything. So now I want you to know that why I, 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 I don't have to be worried about things. That's why as Jesus, as Jesus, as Jesus, <coughs> as his disciple asked, uh, asked Jesus, teach us to, 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 to pray. He said like this. Say like this. Our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. The first thing, there's three things that I want to, to, to share with you today. The first thing is that you have to establish in your heart paternal provision from God. Paternal provision. What is the meaning of the paternal provision? God is your Father. Okay? God is your Father. God is your Father and He is a, like, like loving Father. Like loving Father. God provides you it's simply because he is your dad. Amen? So today, listen young people, listen everybody. You don't have to be, to be afraid about lacking something in your life today. You don't have to. Why? Because God provides you because he is simply your daddy. He is simply your daddy. God is your daddy and he wants to provide you. And then... And, and you know something? Like in, in Luke 11, go to Luke 11, please. Open Luke 11. Luke 11. 11 per, until 13. Okay. Luke 11. Okay. Luke 11. If a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, Will he give him a serpent instead of fish? No! I don't think Harry, when Elijah or Ethan asked, Papa, I want this, and uh, Papa, I want bread. And, and, and Carrie said, I give you a serpent. And he thinks so, Carrie. <laughs> no! <coughs> and look, 12. Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? No! If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how, look at this, how much more will your heavenly father give those who goes to us? How much more your heavenly father give the best things for you? Ask for him. That, that's why don't, don't be afraid. He is, he is simply, he is simply want to provide you today because he is your dad. That's why you have to, you have to have you have to, have, uh, you have to have, uh, establish your heart that I have a father. Don't think because you are all here in Germany and all the, the, the uh, your parents in Indonesia or something like that, and you say, I don't have nothing. No. The eyes of the, our Heavenly Father is always upon us. Don't be afraid of anything. Okay? Go to the Luke 12. Luke 12. Go to Luke 12. Luke 12, first. 20, 22 until 32. This is, I just want to open to you so that you know you don't have to be afraid. Don't have to be afraid. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, disciples, okay, disciples, it's not for the world. It's, that's why you have to really, really, uh, uh, um, really sharp here uh, what Jesus, what Jesus uh, uh, tells to, uh, to whom Jesus tells this, this, this verse. Then he said to his disciples, we are the disciples, we are the son of God, we are also the disciples, to all, to all of us. Then he said to disciples, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Amen, church? Amen. Don't, don't, don't worry, do not worry about your life. Do not worry, do not worry, do not worry about anything. Do not worry about your life. Next. Life is more than food, and the body is more than a clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither saw nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. For how much more value are you than the birds? Amen. Say to your neighbors, you much more value than the birds. <laughs> okay. You much more value than the birds. So I want to, to give you an 
idea like this. When you worry about liking something, find the birds, okay? And say to the birds, I am more valuable than you. Okay? <laughs> so, and I know when, uh, when, you, when you search for the birds or seek for the birds, I know that, that uh, because of this verse. You know what's more value than birds? 25. 25. And which of you, you worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? You cannot. You cannot grow one inch or not grow or something like that because you worry. You don't have to. If you then are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Why? It's not making sense. But people still want to worry. Amen. Still wants to worry. Say to your neighbors, don't worry. And look at this, look at this. This, 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 very, this is very amazing. As Jesus, as Jesus told the disciples, consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you, even Solomon, in all his glory, does not arrive like one of these. Wow. If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, the fire, how much more will he clothe you, or you of little faith? Amen, church? Don't worry. 29. And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. And look at this. Do not fear, little flock, for it's... This is amazing. This is amazing. Do not fear, little flock. Do not fear, little flock. For it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Amen. The father's pleasure to give the kingdom for you. And the kingdom of heaven, you cannot imagine what God has in store for you. Amen, church. Pleasure to your daddy to give you everything. It's pleasure for your daddy to give you the gift. It's a pleasure. It's make him happy. It's make him happy. It's make him happy. In the New Living Translation, it's uh, said like this. For it is give your father great happiness to give you the kingdom. The great happiness. You know, it's like, I can imagine it's like this. As the father said, I want to give all this kingdom for, for all these people in IBC Gihanova. And you know something? As he said, well, I, I want to give them. And he is like dancing, he is like, like jumping. He, can you imagine that God jumping and, and then dancing? Hey, God can jump in and dancing, you know. Okay? He's enjoyed it. He is really enjoyed it. And to give everything to you. Amen. Amen. So say to your neighbors, uh, it give our Father happiness to give us a kingdom. Say it. So, today, church, today, why, 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 why God wants to give you this? Because, it's, it's not because of your work. Be careful. It's not because of your not of your work. Okay? The, the, the heart of the Father is only want to provide and to provide and to provide. That's why it's, it's not like uh, God give you and then take again. It's not, 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 not like our God. Okay? That's why uh, God is not giving and then when you do something bad, He take it again for you. No. It's not like that. It's not like that. But he wants to provide and to provide and to provide and to provide and to provide. He wants to provide. But you know why? Because it's not because our our good deeds. It's not because our good deeds. But it is because what Jesus did on the cross. Amen. 
That's why I said to you, grace shall louder than lack. Grace shall louder than your lack. So don't worry. Today, put in your hearts, establish your hearts that you always have a paternal provision from your daddy God. Amen? You, the provision is always there. Say to your neighbors, my daddy always provide for me. My daddy always provide for me. Okay? Don't worry. Okay, this is the first thing. Okay? We are studying this thing. Please don't worry about so don't worry. So don't worry what happens. When is the last time you solve the problem? Why I said don't worry? Because when was the last time you solved the problem problems by worrying about it? How can you solve the problem by worrying? Who can solve the problem problem by worrying? Can you please uh, you said like this, I have a problem and I want to worry. And through my worrying, the problem will be solved. Can you do that? No. You cannot do that. <coughs> Imagine someone saying that they cannot pay their bills so have resolved to worry. And then, and then, and then, and, and see resolve to worry and worry and worry. Actually, they have to be working and then worry, 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 sleepless. No, it cannot solve the problem. Worrying cannot solve the problem. Say to your neighbors, worry cannot solve your problems. Worry cannot solve your problems. But, rest, rest in personal provision can solve the problem today. Now it's time to establish your heart in personal provision. It is time to get your heart and mind rooted in God's personal love for you. You have to know, that's why you have to know, rooted in the God's love for you. Your daddy's love for you. Your daddy love you very much. Amen. Ask anything for your daddy. Ask anything. Ask your daddy anything. And he will give you. And he will give you. Because he loves you. It's so simple. You know, it's so simple. It's so simple. The second thing. Okay, we know, we know the personal provision. But what is the second thing? It's not only personal provision. Okay, I, I got But God make it practice, practical for all of us. The, the second thing that God, that, that, that God provides us also, the practical provision. The practical provision. What is the, the, the practical provision? Listen. God cannot, because this is always the, we, we want to solve the, 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 the issue here, okay? Because the people, how practice our God actually is? How, how practical is He? How practical is he? Because uh, when he said, okay, I want to provide you, how he can provide? Uh, he, he give us all heaven, so that, that all the heaven, and then when, that when, we, when, when we have the, all the kingdom of heaven, and we can fly, or whatever, or just, how practical is our God? You know something? The practical provision that God will always give us, listen to me, this is the practical provision. And that's why you don't have to 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 to, to afraid about about things what happens to you. Listen, the practical provision for all of us that God give us, He will bless you so that you can be a blessing. How can He do that? How can He do that? He will give you a job for everything. He will give you a job. He will give you a workplace. He will give you a business. He will give you everything that we need so that we can receive the blessing from God. So today, people, listen. Go to Acts 2. Look at this. Go to Acts 2. Acts 2, verse 44 until 45. Okay. Now all who believe were together and had all things in common and sold their positions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. Go to 44 and 45, okay? <coughs> okay. Now all who believe were together and had all things in common. So, in common. So, the meaning is like this. The problem from our, the problem from our self is like 
uh, the practical provision, what, what, what I want to say to you like this, the practical provision that God wants to give us, He wants to bless you with everything. So today, what, when we in Germany, for example, what he, will, what he will provide for us a practical provision. When you, listen, that's why you don't have to be worried. When you search for a job, for a workplace, for a position, for whatever, listen, you don't have to be worried because God will do it for you. God will do it for you. This is his practice. He is practical, you know. How can you receive how can you receive the blessing from God when you're not working? You cannot. Amen, church? You cannot. That's why when you today, that's why I, probably it it's, doesn't, doesn't make sense, but, but, but I, always talk, I, I, always, I always tell you, I always tell you, I pray for all of you today that you don't have, that you don't, you, you just, just don't have a job but you have a position so that you can be a blessing for others. Amen. Amen. I am longing to see to see all the, the workers here sometimes like Henny or like Grace, like David or the or something. You can be a, a, a director for everything so that you can be a blessing for everybody. Amen, church? Amen. So don't worry about this. Listen, when you today looking for a job, Practical provision from God. God will give you that. God will give you. God will give you. And when you have job, say to God, make me a blessing for others. And that is wonderful. And you will be a blessing for others. That is what that means in John 4. Who will believe, work together, and have all things in common. That's why, why we are in church together. Why we we together in church? Because we, because the blessing that God pure out in, in a person, through that, you can be a blessing also for others. Amen, church? Mm-hmm. You can be a blessing for others. That's why don't be afraid. And we have a, a, a already have a testimony, a lot of testimony about about how God provides and how God gives this and that to, to, all, to all of us. A lot of people here are sick for job and they don't find and something like that. And, uh, and until the end, they find also a job. Today, God will make it practice, uh, practical in our life. God will make it practical in our life. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You will guide it. Amen. Okay, it's practical. So, uh, don't be afraid. The third thing, the last thing that I want to to to, to open to you. Listen. And what is the the the, the third the third thing? People provision. The first thing is personal provision. God love to want to, 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 to provide you for everything because He's your Father. The second is uh, practical provision. He will give you a job, whatever you need, He will give you. The third is people provision. What is the meaning of people provision? This is sometimes, it's like, uh, it's like unbelieving, un- un- unbelievable, you know. But listen to me. What is the meaning of the people provision? God will give you a people provision. People provision, what kind of people provision? God already put somebody in our life, somebody in our journey, that, that He will, through these people, through this, this, this somebody, that some, sometimes we, we cannot, this, sometimes we cannot, we cannot see these people, but through these people, the blessing from God will come into you. Amen? Amen? For example, for example, listen. That's why you have to, to have a, a, a mind like this. What is the meaning of people provision that God that God gives me? For example, it's like this. When you go to a 
you want to get a job, something like that. And then they interviewed you. Amen? Yeah. They interviewed you. You just don't know. This is the people provision that God put in your life. I have it. I, 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 have, I, have, I have these things very often. Sometimes I just come to the interview and said like this. I just don't know why. I just don't know why. I just don't know why. But as I see you, the one thing that I want to do is to hire you. Just, just the, the thing, the, just, as I see you, the one thing in my mind, I just want you to be my employee. Amen. It's the people provision. So don't, 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 don't narrow in God like, like God cannot do something. He will make a people provision for you. So that, that, that these people can be a blessing for you. Today, when you face the interview, Say to God like this, God, I know the people provision. As He talked to me, the only thing in His mind to hire me. I can change. Amen. <laughs> so God will make things for you so that you provide in everything. Don't worry. The one thing that, that you have sure is know your father, know your daddy God, and he will provide everything for, for you. Amen. Today don't be don't be worried about everything, people. Today don't be worried about about don't be worrying about, about that you lack something. Financial. Don't be worried about lacking of financial. Please don't be worried about lacking of financial. God will provide you for these things more and more. He will multiply you. Even there is a famine there. God is, I told you last, uh, last week, God doesn't, God doesn't depend on the, the, the situation of economy in this world. No. He can provide everything. You know, He can provide something from nothing. This is our God. Today, what, what we have to do is only one thing. Rest, man. Rest, man. I mean, just, just, just rest. Just be sure that, 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 that your loving Father is there for you. Don't be worried. I mean, say to your neighbors again, don't worry about everything. Grace, shout louder. Than like he even using the people and things we would overlook to provide for us. Amen. Amen. So today, when you meet people, when you go to everything, and then at that, God will provide. Personal provide provision, practical provision, people provision. He make. All these things so that the daughter and the son of God have no lack in the life. Amen? Amen. So today I just want to just want to give you these things and I hope and I hope in this week you don't have to worry. People that, that today you search for job believe that God will give you. God will give you people that you already work. I pray that some, that some, some uh, not someday, but in, in this, in this, in this, in this uh, very short time, you can be a manager for everything. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. Become a blessing. Bless others. Amen. Let's pray together. That's <coughs>